the oh what do we have here right so this is a, actually a building that Georgia can actually build within their capital and I gotta say even if like we can recruit from here it's not too bad even though it's pretty much like the same one over here in Crimea but I can if recruit an experience two of these ragoons right here all right well that's nice so now that they have dealt with the Ottoman Empire, how about we go ahead and deal with Russia? Oh yeah, I almost completely forgot. Fur freight. We need to, we need to build a couple of fur freights. I completely forgot about doing that. Uh, well, I really hope that we have enough time here. Oh, do I really want to do this? I mean, I mean, we're pretty, we're doing pretty good when it comes to money overall. But this is just utterly ridiculous at this point. <laughs> oh, god damn. Denmark, Russia, you are not gonna have a very good time. I wonder if Spain is gonna have a rebellion. The oh my god! Well, Russia. I think Russia knows what's going on here. Here's the thing, Russia. You are demanding these region for these regions? No. Absolutely not. That's the worst trade I've seen ever. Get that shit out of here. Alright, let's go ahead and see here. I think Georgia is doing fine here. Yeah, do, yeah they're relatively calm. Go ahead and join you guys in here. Now let's see here. You guys are positioned here. You guys can go over here. You need one more turn for that. I'm blockaded by these little shits right here. Still one more turn to reach that. Uh, let's see. How many turns do you need? Okay, one more turn to reach that. Unprotected. You like to see that. You guys you also need one more turn to reach that. That, that. That, that, that. Right, so overall, we do have every single region that Russia has controlled covered. Only thing we need to do is to pay our attention towards Denmark here. I guess I can go ahead and send this army over here that I've been having in Hanover for, I mean, I don't know, forever. Because I've been starting to uh, uh, dismant like to dismantle the, the schools that we're having around here, because we do... We don't need that many schools anymore because we have been researching like the majority of the technology that there is in the game So I don't see the reason of having that many schools anymore I am gonna still be keeping at the modern university so we can research Like these late game technologies just a wee bit faster and Rhinelands is behaving very very well The oh, King Die Walter the first Good, now we got Boris the first. How are you? Mmm, mm, not too bad. Now you're young and you... I guess that's pretty good for a leader, I guess. <laughs> being a leader of this big ass empire of yours. And being that young, well, you're gonna have a very good time there, lad. Now, here's the thing. Now that we have everyone stationed around Russia's regions, I still feel like I need to wait a little bit. Because I want to declare on Russia itself. But here's the thing. If we declare war on Russia, we're going to get bad with Denmark and Dagestan and Knights of St. John. And here's the thing. Invading the, the island of Malta is not exactly an easy thing to do. Here's the thing. You need to get rid of their navy. You need to place your army within the port. Then you need to invade them that way. And I need to go ahead and make sure that I get a buffed up navy if I want to go ahead and in invade Malta. And also I need to make sure that the army is stationed around my region that uh, the, the knights do. I need to make sure that I have them in check. I have this one in check over here but I need to make sure that you are in check as well. I mean you have a couple of Amazons that are not really that well. But I still feel like you are still pose a little bit of a threat there and you know what since the ottomans are no longer here i think i can should i just go with my bl with my freaking dragoon with my dragoons should i just do that you know what let's go ahead uh, and assault the the island of malta with an army of dragoons 
I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like that's a very, very solid idea. So before we can actually attack Russia, I have to postpone it a little bit so we're actually ready for the knights. Alright. Go ahead and put these dragoons on this fleet here. I think I can go ahead. I think I can actually go ahead and use most of my... Uh, like first rate that I have been recruiting. I feel like I can take three of you away from here. I can take the rest of you when I'm gonna go ahead and have fun with Denmark here. And I think I can just go ahead and position you guys right... <laughs> right outside of Malta here. I really feel like that knights should really pay attention to what the hell the Germans are up to right now. But eh, I don't really think you should be that worried, right? I mean, we're allies, right? I would never stab you in the back. That That is just what, what a hardcore a-hole would do. Ah, uh, look at that. Rebellions. We got, re we got rebels, alright. There are two sets of rebels. Yeah, that's right. Because of Spain have two separate armies out there. Well, no, Russia. I am not accepting that dumbass deal of yours. Either you can offer something better or, you know... Uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be saying it. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise. The oh. God, was well, Spain is having a revolution right there. Um, well, that's not, that is not too bad to go up against their Spain. I'm pretty sure that you can actually do this. The, oh, oh, maybe not. Hmm, I don't really think that the rebels are gonna have, uh, like, too much hope here, actually. But they, hold on. Would it be a dick move of me if I intervene in this rebellion here? Like, hold, wait, hold on a minute. Is it classified as a dick move if a foreign power helps out a nation in need with this rebellion? Is, would that be considered a dick move? Because if the people, if the rebellion gets defeated by a foreign power, yeah, the government is not gonna look too damn good then if that's the case. And I don't exactly want Spain look like they're weak or anything. I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty strong, boy, oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them... I'm just gonna go ahead and just let them deal with that. I'm pretty sure they can handle it. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Duh, there are my heavy first rate. You can go down there. You can go ahead and do the same. If we are going up against the knights, we need all the kind of firepower in, we need in order to get... To get rid of this navy that are in their port right here. But I can only hope that they do not have an army station at the port as well, because that is just going to cause problem as well. Unless we can only cross our fingers that things are going to go well here. Put our first rates in there. Let's go ahead and pay Denmark a little visit over here. And they have so many six rates. We do have a we do have a couple of powerful ships in here. But I really don't know if we really can defeat this uh, Danish fleet here. The oh, will you look at that? They're having a bankruptcy! Okay, that is good to see as well. But it's good to see that Denmark is having a bankruptcy. And I'm really sitting here wondering what would be the best place to actually... Hmm... I'm trying to think of where would be the blessed... Blessed... Where would be the, be the best place to actually... I think I know where we should go from. Gonna go ahead, take care of this fleet right here. Move this uh, move this army right over here. Board it. Then I'm gonna place you guys somewhere around here. And I'm just gonna go around and wreak havoc on uh, just Denmark's wealth. With this army right here. Because I just wanna go ahead... Uh, when we declare war on Russia, I wanna try my damn hardest to cripple Denmark. Because I feel like if we're... Yeah, we're declaring war on Russia. Dagestan is not going to be a problem, I think. The Knights are going to be a huge problem, if you ask me. And of course, Denmark might also be a little bit of a problem here. So, just trying to cripple these guys uh, as soon as I declare on Russia. It's just going to benefit us. Also, I can't forget about Austria here. I completely, completely neglected you guys here. Let's see here. 
Uh, what are we even dealing with? That is a low, that is a low, that is a low, oh, yo, yeah, 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 ho, 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 ho. Why do you have so many artillery stationed in Hungary for them? Also, let's see here. I wonder, how are my fellow Germans going on here? You're a protectorate of public states. You really, the, the Pope is protecting you? I don't know if you really want the Pope to protect you. I feel like we are the only uh, the gu guardians of God around here. But then again, the Pope is not really a guardian of God, he's just a spokesperson, but... You know, if I want to say it dumb, the dumb way, I want to say it the dumb way. Alright, let's go ahead and see here. Where is... The there we go, there's the... Now uh, there's uh, first rate. I was just about to say second rate. I mean, speaking of second rates, we do have a couple of second rates there. Uh, yeah, I can put in three in there. Put you there. <sighs> and I really wish that the knights could just move their army away from here. But overall, we are pretty set and done to do this. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and do this. I am so sorry, Russia, but... No heart... Really? Denmark didn't join in on it? Only Dagestan and not the knight? Really? Dagestan was the only one that joined in on that? Really? I really thought that Denmark would join in. <laughs> oh, Denmark, are you trying to tell me something? Are you a, a wee bit afraid or something? Mm, well, I do feel like that you're making a good choice here, my good man. I mean, I ain't gonna be judging you here. I do feel like that... Yeah, when you see that the Germans are getting a little bit too powerful, it might be just to be a good idea just to stay out of it. Sure, I can pretty much understand that, that concept there. So, maybe we should just maybe leave the Danes alone. I don't know about you, but maybe we should, um... Oh, really? D surrender for fuse? Uh, get the heck out of here, Russia. You can not beat me. You can not defeat me. You can't do shit, my good sir. The holy shit, they are just crumbling here. Boom! Three more to go. No, wait. Four more to go. Uh, let's see here. I really don't like the alternate. I may ha actually have to play that one. Uh, let's see. What else? Yeah, I need to play that one. I think I may have to play that one as well. And I think I may have to play when it comes to Kiev as well. Maybe I can auto resolve that. I can. <laughs> oh, that was very risky of me to do. But let's see here. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and have a. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and play this one. Let's see. What the hell are we even dealing with here? Two artilleries, a couple of line infantries, not that many cavalries. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I f I do. I, I I mean I say this. I mean this when I say it. I do feel horrible that we're just betraying our allies like this. But damn, it just feels too good when you're just this damn powerful. I need more land. I need more places for people to live. Now let's see here. Uh, okay, reinforcements are coming from behind there. I think I can just send my pikemen over there. I have a feeling that pikemen might get intercepted before they can even get there, but it's fine. Let's see, artillery, you can go ahead and go ahead with that guy, you can go ahead and go with that guy, and you can go ahead with that guy right there. Alright, let's go ahead and fuck up some bruskies. Oh crap, oh, oh well they're sending the cavalry to charge in on my, oh uh, well that's bad. Oh, um, well crap, well there's not much I can do about that. Well, Russia ain't playing around. Yeah, let's just arm it sinus and re and reach uh, there with my canister shot there. Let me see, missile cavalry. You can just go ahead and just charge right onto these guys right here. I'm pretty sure you can't take a punch like that. General, can you go on, on with that uh, cavalry over there? Yeah, Russia is really not playing around. They're going straight for my artillery. So. 
careful, guys. Uh, be careful, guys. Careful. No, do not shoot when the general is right there. Jesus, calm your tits, will ya? Let me see. I'm pretty sure that their artillery is gonna take some time for them to come in here, and that's fine. We got a few there. Uh, missile cavalry, you can actually move up there. If we can just take care of these guys that are around here, we can move up and take care of the rest of them. Yeah, alright, good one there. Alright, we didn't exactly lose an artillery here, that's nice. I can actually, I feel like I can actually go ahead and unlimber all of you. But limber up, I should say. Hmm, I really wish it wasn't this kind of uh, weather that we go on here. It's pretty damn hard to see where Russia units are. Then again, they had that big ass flag to. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna be quiet here. I feel like I've been, I've been, I've been recording for so damn long that I'm running out of out of things to talk about here. It's just cohesive mumbling at this point. Uh, this is gonna be a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna keep you guys as you are. I wonder if I should send my missile cavalry up here to. Yeah, there we go. The artillery is actually coming up here. My pikeman is getting winded just because of this heavy rain that's coming down here. Yeah, I think I can just go ahead and send out my missile cavalry up to deal with these guys up here. The sooner I can get rid of the artillery, the better. Speaking of artillery, I need to move you guys up a little bit. I need to wait till we have dealt with you guys here. Okay, have we dealt with all of them over here? That's fine then, you can move up then. Just like so. Let me see. Oh, my pikeman is getting shot at already. Uh, all right. Well, go ahead and do what you do best, there, pikeman. Oh God, really? Sorry, you really? Are you sure you want to do that? I don't really think that's a very reasonable idea to do that, sir. I mean, take it from me. Let's see, where the hell is the artillery? See, the, the artillery is running around here. There we go. There you are. Get that son of a bitch! Hey, Pike man, how are you holding up there? Uh, the winning slight. Okay, okay, so you're winning slightly. I can just uh, gang up on you when it comes to that. Let's see, uh, how things going on? Uh, the battlefield seems to be relatively clean. Go ahead and do this. My general up a little bit. I think I can move off my artillery up on this hill here. Okay, fine, I'll just go ahead and move you guys. Oh god, no, 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 oh! I am being way too hasty. Alright, there, I fixed it. God damn it, I feel like I'm being- Oh, where the hell did you guys come from? Where did these pikemen come from? Man, Russia's just going on and throwing everything at me right now. Let me see, where the artillery, 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 where the hell is the artillery? Uh, hold on, where the hell is it? Oh, it's right there! Um, okay, uh, Russia, why are you sending it in right in here? That is not exactly a good thing to do with this, uh... Yeah, anyways, I guess you can go ahead and go over here then, I guess. Let's see, so what the hell are we dealing with here? Cavalry... Line, line, line. It's, it's, mostly, it's just mostly line infantry that we're dealing with here. Man, you guys have the balls to stand this damn close to us. I wanna go ahead and salute you for that, but that's just stupid. So how are you guys holding up here? Uh, you can just shoot them for all I know of. Uh, let's see, uh, what can we do about that? Uh, there's not much much we can do about that. Act well, wait, maybe we can do something about that. Um, you can actually go ahead and position yourself just like so. You guys can move up. How's the artillery coming up? Uh, it's getting there. I guess I can go ahead and position you guys uh, up here. You there. Pikeman is wa uh, wavering. That's fine, at least you're exhausting them a little bit. You're doing your part there, uh, Pikeman, don't you forget about it. You're doing your part. 
Okay, that guy is routing, so you can move you guys up a little bit further up then. But you guys are actually losing towards the general here. I wonder, uh, how are you guys holding up? Okay, you're active. You're also active. I can guess I can place you guys right here. Alright, well, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is just getting ridiculous at this point that... I feel like... This really is no challenge anymore. There really is no challenge to uh, uh, this campaign anymore. I mean, I feel like just at this point, we can just go ahead and just auto resolve every single battle that we're doing here. I mean, quite frankly, we don't really have that many turns left to go from, actually, so... Maybe we should... Uh, well, I don't know just finish it right here and now but then again I don't really have all day to do it so I think I'm doing I'm gonna uh, refrain myself from doing it but I do feel like the next session that I'm doing it is probably probably gonna be the final session for me of doing it with Westphalia because I do believe once we are at the end of this we're probably gonna have about 30 turns left 30 turns left to finish up what we are doing and I can just go ahead and say this, it has been quite a journey. Starting up from the small region of Rhineland into what we are seeing right now. It has been quite an insane... Uh, I mean, it has been insane, like overall. And I'm just very surprised that people have not been bothering of doing a play for Westphalia until now. And I feel like, here's the thing, I would like to encourage people to actually do it. Even though that you should have your own strategy when it comes to playing as the nation, because you're not playing as a major nation, you don't really have the, the stuff as a particular na major nation would have. And, th and that is what I like about playing as a minor faction. You're putting yourself at such a disadvantage than all of the other uh, major nations in the game. And this just comes to show that even though you're starting off small, you can become big. But of course, you need to play smartly when you're playing as a minor faction. I mean, if you do, if you just do one minor fuck up, then your campaign you can just kiss your campaign goodbye. There's no way you can recover from a major fuck up. But I also hope that the people that have been watching has been enjoying this, and I have to do the apolog apologize for the amount of, uh, well, mishaps that I've been doing, and maybe a few things that may have been pissing off a few people. But then again, when you happen to be a bit silly, and have a very silly playstyle, and doesn't take games very seriously, well, that is pretty much what you're gonna get. Okay, just go ahead, go ahead and just break that line of you already. Just don't engage in melee, you can just shoot them like the bastards. There we go, good guys. Alright, there's no more left. There we go. Heroic victory. Alright, nice. Boom, thank you, Russia. Now, about this one. Uh, you know what, screw it. Victory, thank you very much. Now, only one region left remaining. And you're very unsure about this one, so let's go ahead and play a small-scale battle. I, I feel like that the balance of power here is a little bit drunk here. I mean, there's no way that Russia can beat this. I dare you to come at me, Russia. I have the range to outrange you. Is that even a proper thing to say? I'm pretty much sure not a sensible person would say, like, I can outrange, outrange your rage. I'm pretty much sure that that's not even a, f like, logical thing to say. I wish- Oh, I thought you guys were- I thought you guys were in range already. Yes, Alright, go ahead and get a little bit closer then. Alright, there we go. Unleash hell, boys! Yeah, look at that. They're just melting away from that. I can see some accidental f friendly fire going on here, so I can just reposition you guys just a little bit like that. I want to avoid as much casualties as possible, because I don't like the look of those pipe men over there. 
The armed civil civilry shouldn't be that big of a problem, really. It's just I am more afraid of the pikemen than anything. And just by speaking about it, they're actually moving in. Right, there we go. Nice. Right, guys, stop firing and reload so you're ready for those pikemen. Right, you're all done. Alright, nice. Okay, I can see the arm similarly as you're coming up here and the, the provocal line if you're actually coming back. I think I can go ahead and move you guys up just a little bit. And I, I, I think I think that line if you guys might be within range, but you don't have enough time to shoot. And of course that pikeman is running away. <laughs> yeah, you should be afraid, Pikeman. You can't go up against this quality of a unit right here. No, 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 good sir. You cannot. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this already. You guys, go for that. You guys, go for that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, yeah, really? You have enough time to actually shoot me? I would like to believe that that's illegal, good sir. Okay, good. You got those guys over there. Now focus on these guys. The army losses. Well, that was a quick and easy battle. Only lost 35. And boom, just like that, Russia is no more. Right, so now we just have to switch our target towards Dagestan here. So let me see, what the hell do you even have? Pretty much gotta be like a Crimea 2.0 here. Mostly melee drillings, but you do have a few artilleries there. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and do this. Get the frick out of here. And I place my army right there, and I think I... No, I can't even go around. Hold on, uh, Persia. I know it's uh, a little bit strange of me to ask this, but how about I do this? And you give me that. I'm glad that you and I can come to a sensible conclusion there, good sir. And they have another full stack army right there. Holy freaking tits, McGee. It's almost like these one are... They're pretty much the same right there. Alright, well at least we know that. But you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this session right here. We have... Well, we have done quite a lot here. We have defeated the Ottoman Empire, we have also defeated Russia, and we're on our way to pretty much kill off Dagestan, but I like to believe that we should maybe mess around with Denmark, and maybe perhaps Austria as well. We are going to try to make the most out of our time that we have left here. We don't have a lot of turns left, I like to believe we have about 31 turns left before the campaign ends. And we are going to do our damnest best to conquer every single region there is in the game. I am not, and I repeat, I am not attacking Wittenberg. They have been too good of an ally to us, the bestest bro ever. They have been sticking by us ever since the beginning. I am not attacking Wittenberg. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and end this off like this. So, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm the small GT. Signing off.